In this tutorial, video number 15, we will do the design plus plan. So the frame CE will design all of the frame elements and also the foundation. So uh, I mean, uh, we, we can also do the foundation design one by one for the individual. So uh, I will just show it. So I'll just click this one. So before doing the the design plus plan i will just uh, show how to design separately the footing or one footing at a time but before doing that you have to be sure that your your support is in footing uh, support or in footing assignment so i will just click the nodes and the support so make sure this is footing to be able to design the footing okay so i will run it again okay and i will go to design and let's say linear elastic uh, then this is the load combinations to use so this second order mode will be activated if the, if you have the if you have the uh, high value of lateral forces. So in this case, we will just do the linear elastic since we are dealing with the earthquake lateral force. Okay, so we will let's say we will click this one, the joint. I will just show how to do this, uh, how to do the footing design separately. Okay, so this is your footing. Uh, design template i'll just click ok and it will give you this uh, footing design so you have six spaces of 20 mm and you have your uh, the depth and width of the footing dimension but the uh, this is width so this is the length or the width okay and this is the depth of footing so just uh, this is the thickness i mean so thickness 0.34 so we can do the 0.35 thickness okay so i will just click accept so for your drawing you have to uh, we, we also have the draw uh, drawing output by frame c so i will just uh run the linear elastic and next is uh, select all of these ultimate load combinations so in our excel you have to input if you want to input all, all of the load combinations that, that's uh, already that, that that is also we can also do that but for now we just uh, input this one just to lessen the running time I will just click open so I will just click this design plus plan so we are now in the design plus plan so select all and i will just click ok then let's say i will i want to use 20 mm for the column and for the beam and also for the putting so also you can use you can take the 16 mm okay then this is face of the column 16 mm this uh, for the main bars okay so it will again uh, ask us for the strength design load combination i'll just click ok and let's say we have here project description to story rc building so let's say the designer i am the designer let's say ANT, and just click ok so it will ask for where to save the output and let's say i will go to my tutorials and we choose to story so in this folder to story the output will be saved here with the with this uh, file name the file name of the folder to be saved or the output where to find is same as the model name i will just click ok and the uh, the design of element 
of all elements and the putting will start now so you don't have to do anything you will just uh, wait for the frame ce to do the task and i will just click my so that's why uh we we have we have the individual checking so i start from individual checking because if you want to let's say if, if i want to pick up the all of the all of the corner column to have the same column design to, to be simplified so i can do that using the individual design so it's our choice what to do but in this case uh in this running the design plus plan all of the plans at each floor all of the framing all of the top and bottom bars will be converted also into the CAD file or DXF file so that's the that's the reason or the or that's the reason why other is using this uh, design plus plan capability and also uh, we can also export the the model into CAD file we can also do that okay so this is the end of the video or because i will think i think it will run for at least 30 minutes so this is and this is the end of the video and i will just uh, make another video after running this design plus plan